In some ways, she is a teenager, and in some, very much a woman. In many ways, she is still a star-struck girl, although she is already a star. And in all ways, she is Geraldine Chaplin, a bona fide original. To some, she is shy, natural, unassuming. Others know her as the girl who arrived in New York dressed in matching hat, jacket, and pants of striped fur. But everyone agrees that Geraldine Chaplin does have an effect on people, even if it is in spite of herself. In fact, it would be difficult for her not to. Her mother is Una O'Neill, whose grace and beauty show so well in her daughter. And her father is, of course, Charlie Chaplin. Certainly, if I hadn't been called Chaplin, I doubt if I would have gotten to test for David Lean. But I think that to say that I'm in this film because of my name is, above everything, a terrible insult to David Lean. Because I don't think he'd ever... I mean, he's not that sort of a man, is he? And to watch Geraldine Chaplin at work, at play, just being herself, is to know that the great Charles Chaplin gave more than just his name to his daughter. There is a quality about her, undeniably her own, yet hauntingly remindful of a sad-faced clown in baggy pants. And two, there is something that takes place inside Geraldine Chaplin when she is before a camera. And with her coveted role in Dr. Zhivago comes the attention of the world press, the excitement of being before the public. In many respects, a new and very different life for Geraldine Chaplin. After the world premiere of Dr. Zhivago, there will be more cities to visit, more films to make, more worlds to conquer. For a 21-year-old girl brings new radiance to a star-bright name. This is Geraldine Chaplin.